Hi friends, in this video, we are going to discuss about the speed control methods, voltage control method and what linear speed control method. Generally, we know that the speed is inversely proportional to flux but directly proportional to Eb, nothing but the speed is directly proportional to voltage, inversely proportional to flux. For example, if you take that separately excited machine, separately excited motor, so in this case the flux is constant of course, the speed is depends on the voltage. Nothing but the voltage control method is only applicable for separately excited motors especially and in this method in generally by controlling the voltage we can control the speed but if you want to increase the speed if you want to increase the speed what we have to do here you have to increase the voltage which leads to bringing of new machine yes or no if you increase the speed, if you want to increase the speed, then you have to increase the voltage. If you increase the voltage, machine gets damaged. Don't go for that. So, this is only below rated speed control method. Below rated speed control method only. This is not for above rated speed control. And in this method, by controlling the voltage, we can control the speed. But this is not for shunt motor especially. And even not for series motor. This is only for separately excited motors. We know that already. So, below rated speed control method. That's why this is also a, what is that? Constant power variable torque drive. Constant power variable torque drive below rated speed control method nothing but constant power variable torque drive and in this case we can control the speed in the range of 1 is to 10 nothing but the 1000 rpm can be changed up to you fellow not 10,000 up to 100 rpm because this is below rated speed, not above rated speed, right? So, this is generally the voltage control method of speed control. This is very simple. And then after, we have a next method. This is a very different method. What is that? Ward Leonard speed control method. In generally, this method is combination of Below rated and above rated for both. Ward Leonard method is used for below rated speed control as well as above rated speed control. For above rated speed control, we are using flux control, whereas for below rated speeds, we are using voltage control. That's why this is called wide range of speed control method. Wide range of speed control is possible in this method. But this requires one motor and one generator. Motor generator set. That's why of course this is costly method, costliest method compared to others. But we have a above rated speed and below rated speed. That is the main advantage of Ward Leonard method. Generally, up to now we saw some graph like this. This is the rated speed. This is the above rated speed. Of course, this is a below rated speed. When the above rated speed nothing but flux control method, where is the below rated speed nothing but voltage control method. In above rated speed, the torque is variable and the power is constant, constant power variable torque drive. Whereas for below rated speed, the power is variable and the torque is constant. So, Ward Leonard control method is a adjustable drive. This is adjustable, nothing but constant power variable torque and variable power constant torque. 
below rated speed and above rated speed all are possible that's why it is called adjustable is it okay yes or no right so next one sir in this ward lenard speed control method what is the speed control range so generally we are using one is the voltage control another one is the flux control i said you already in flux control we can control up to 1 is to 4 range and in voltage control we can control in the range of 1 is to 10 then what is the speed control range for ward lenard speed control method option a 1 is to 14 option b 1 is to 40 option c 1 is to 6 option d none of the above which are the following is correct answer can you tell me which are the following is correct answer see here first of all for example my rated speed is 1000 rpm this is the 1000 rpm is my rated speed in this i can control up to 1 is to 10 nothing but up to 100 rpm in this method we can control up to 1 is to 4 nothing but 4000 rpm so what is the speed control range 1 is to 40 this is the ward leonard speed control method 1 is to 40 range is it clear or not so like this the speed control methods are there in our dc machine one we have let's see a quick review we have a the <coughs> speed control method flux control method armature resistance control method voltage control method ward leonard speed control method in this extra rheostat added in the field winding extra rheostat added in the armature winding in this when the resistance increases then the flux reduces in this when the resistance increases eb reduces and here flux reduces that's why speed increases eb reduces that's why speed decreases this is only for above rated speed control method this is only for below rated speed control method and in this case the torque is uh, reducing in this case torque is constant so here speed increases torque reduces hence the power is constant here torque constant when the speed reduces power also reduces so this is a constant power variable torque drive and this is a constant torque variable power drive so below rated speeds are constant torque below rated speeds are constant torque variable power drive above rated speeds are constant power variable torque drive where it comes to here this is only applicable for separately excited motors in this the speed is directly proportional to voltage by controlling the voltage we can control the speed be careful here don't increase the voltage to increase the speed so this is also below rated speed not above rated speed this is also below rated nothing but constant torque variable power drive and in this case we can control the speed in the range of 1 is to 10 in this range we can control the speed 1 is to 4 and don't reduce the speed because efficiency reduces don't increase the speed because armature reaction comes into picture after that ward leonard ward leonard is above rated and below rated fourth that's why wide range of speed control method is the ward leonard method and in this method see here actually for above rated flux control for below rated voltage control this is 1 is to 4 but this is 1 is to 10 finally around 1 is to 40 but this is comparatively costly method of speed control like these charts are very important to understand to analyze the machine easily whatever the subject you should prepare a chart after completion of one topic which gives you a detailed analysis with the fingertips within a half of the page or 25 percent of page up to now we discussed the speed control methods around one hour in offline around one hour 
in online one hour nothing but it's offline more than one hour that one hour topic in one minute you can cover in one minute this will helps you in the examination and before the examination when you are going to the examination are you getting or not right so when you are going to examination before two days you have to go through like a short notes which gives you a good mileage is it okay so this is my the speed control methods of my dc motor now they will ask you a question which of the following method is preferable for aborated speed control method exactly flux control method is used for aborated speed control method in which are the following case constant power variable torque drive can you tell me constant power variable torque drive nothing but below rated speed or above rated speed above rated speed constant torque variable power drive below rated speed what is the advantage of or linear it is a wide range of speed control method what is the disadvantage of flux control method we can increase the speed we cannot decrease the speed and also if the in order to increase the speed if flux reduces what happened armature reaction is more that is more effective this is the disadvantage of flux control method what is the disadvantage of armature resistance control method in this method if you want to change the speed then we have to add extra resistance in series to the armature which flowing through the armature current so the power losses increases in the machine which reduce the efficiency of course i said you efficiency of the machine in this case n2 by n1 and another formula is there ia re by v which is equals to speed regulation this is the formulas you have to remember must and should these are the important they may ask you problems even so here when the speed reduces enormously then efficiency of the machine also reduces and extra heating effect also is there these are the disadvantages what are the disadvantage of voltage control method this is only applicable for separately excited machine i told you already in shunt machine if voltage changes nothing but if voltage increases or decreases whatever it may be there is no changes in speed the speed is constant but in separately excited machine the speed will change and next one what is the disadvantage of ward linear speed control method this is costly because it requires motor and generator set that's why this is costly compared to all other methods like this they may ask you different types of questions in competitive examination are you clear up to now right so this is what the speed control method up to now we saw so generally in dc machine we have a three parts one part is the dc generators next part is the dc motors we completed generators we completed motors too then after we have uh, some special parts one is the speed control and next one is the after controlling we have to brake next one is the braking methods and next one is the tests on dc machine we have many tests and next one after this we have that what is that speed control methods braking testing and starters starters of dc machine so these are the three parts one part is for generator second part is for motor and fourth part is we have to start the motor test the motor control the speed and brake the motor this is the third one and fourth one is some special questions what are the special questions if field winding is open circuited if armature winding short circuited suddenly if the prime mover disconnected if prime mover reversed if the magnetic field reversed if the residual magnetism reversed like that special questions are also there so now we completed these two major parts and in third part we completed the speed control methods next to in third part we have three and the special questions one part
are you okay right so this is the concept now let's go for next topic thank you